Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel, guys. In today's video, this is going to be part two of the fixing the issues with the Bear Whitetail 2. All right, guys, this is going to be fine tuning this. Earlier uh, in the other video, I was shooting here at five yards because it was raining, and I actually, you know, switched out the air arrest and got the air arrest in line with the bowstring and all that stuff, and I was hitting the target. So now we're at about 15, 20 yards here, guys, and um, we're going to fine tune the trophy ridge uh, sight. So this is the fatal four sight. It's a four pin sight. Okay, I picked it up at Rule King for $29. Um, and the arrows were shooting low at 15 or 20 yards of this thing. So I actually had to bottom out the sight itself. Hold on, guys bottom out the side itself as you guys can tell and how you guys move this up and down is you undo this screw right here and then it'll move up and down so you chase the arrow all right so if your bow shooting low you move the sight housing down if it's shooting high you move it up okay and then same with your left and right so guys let's fine tune this uh fatal four trophy ridge sight here and let's have some fun all right, y'all, so I'm putting on my gloves. I'm going to take two shots here. And uh, come on now. There we go. And see exactly where this is shooting at. First shot. Here is the second shot. Alright guys, let's go take out these shots and see where I need to move this sight at, if I need to move it at all. I'm so glad it quit raining for a minute. So, here's my first shot. I hit a little high, but here's my second shot. Not too bad. I'm going to take one more round of shots before I move that sight over. All right, guys, so here is my second round shots to see if we need to move the sight to the left or the right. First shot. Here is the second shot. Let's go check out these shots, guys. All right, y'all. So these shots aren't too bad. Okay. This was my first one. This was my second one. All right, y'all. So you guys are going to see a lot of me taking off this glove and putting it back on. So, how I'm anchoring this thing, and it's really comfortable for me, is you guys tell I'm not rocking any peep sight. I don't want to put one in. I don't want to risk damage in the string, whatever. So, what I've realized for me is I put this fletching in the corner of my mouth, and that actually lines up my face so it's right next to the string. So... Let's take a shot right here and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So that fletching goes right there in the corner of my mouth. And then I shoot. I shot high on that one, but that was just to show you guys. Um, sorry, I thought my arrow was over there. How to do this. Let's take one more shot here. So that's what's more comfortable for me. Now it's actually aimed do this let's go check out those shots all right so you guys notice in a pattern like i am my shots are consistently going right here that was the first shot i just let the arrow go for that demonstration purposes but here so we need to move it over that far and we'd be right on the money so now i want to move my sight 
you know, this way, right? So what you would do is there's a little screw right here that you'd undo and actually slide the whole sight housing this way. So again, you guys are following the arrow, right? Chasing the arrow. So I'm actually going to move it a hair this way, and then we should be right on the money to where we want to be, guys. So let me do that real quick, and we'll get back to shooting. All right, guys, so I shot this thing a few times off camera to adjust the, the left and right on the sight, and I think I've got it where it needs to be here. So let's take a few shots here and see how well I actually did. Anchoring is everything with this bow right now, especially shooting fingers, and it's got to be comfortable for me, so. Even down to the point to where how I hold my hand. There's the first shot. And here is the second shot. Go check this thing out. Here's these shots, guys. We're not exactly tuned in. This was the first shot. This was the second one. So we're going to take one more round for you guys. All right, y'all. Last round shots. I think I got it where I want it. Um, I'm not putting my glove on for this shot because taking on and off the glove gets really, really annoying when you're trying to film. So let's let's do this shot right here. First shot. One thing is though, my fingers got to get used to shooting again because it my fingers are sore. Second shot. Let's go check these out. Maybe I can move that back a hair and we'd be in business. So let me move that rest one more time and then that will be the last group of shots. Not too bad this time. All right, y'all, so I'm putting my glove back on. My finger is hurt. So this is definitely going to be the last round here. Um, let's see how well I do. I think I pretty much got it figured out. Anchoring is everything with this. So. First shot. Trying to peel some of this label off here. Alright, here's my second shot. Go check out these shots, guys. I believe this will be a good spot to uh, end the video on. But I pretty much got it dialed in now. Where I want it, the arrows are hitting at the same exact spot. So that's good. Alright guys, so I pretty much got it tuned pretty good for today. Um, my fingers hurt. I've been shooting a lot. I'm glad the rain let up. So yeah guys, that's the final, final result right there. So, I'm happy with it, figuring it all out. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe, Jesus loves you, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.